From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Now to a story about reinventing the wheel, literally. For two men in Nevada, doing just that has been a mutual ambition, and if their invention works, it may revolutionize the tire industry. Here's NBC's Mike Taibbi. In a warehouse on the edge of Boulder City, Nevada, a couple of 60-something dreamers secretly nurture a dream it turns out they'd independently shared for nearly three decades. To find the holy grail of the tire industry, a synthetic replacement for rubber that would make cheaper, safer, simpler, and wholly recyclable tires. It was Richard Steinke, an inventor who grew up in a Cincinnati orphanage, who came up with a new urethane compound he says performs better than rubber. So he won't say what's in it. This is the secret sauce. That's right. The Coke formula that's kept on that's the lock right. and key. That's right. Still, Steinke didn't know how to turn his secret sauce into a real tire until he met Rick Van Ann, the retired research and development chief at Goodyear. We would change the industry forever. When Rick and I got together, it was like it was like uh, the Wright brothers. Does their invention fly? It's just like having my first child. We watched those parts of the process we were allowed to watch and wondered whether these revolutionary automobile tires, which take only seconds to make and can be made in any color, would work as well as the low-duty solid tires Steinke had been making for years for tractors, golf carts, and wheelbarrows. Then we went out to the Las Vegas Speedway to try the tires ourselves. As monolithic, single-compound tires, there's no possibility of tread separation. And these tires are also designed to run flat for hundreds of miles of normal use. They say there are only two kinds of drivers, those who've had a tire emergency and those who will. So we let all the air out of one tire and, for good measure, fill the sidewall and tread full of holes. In a series of hard hairpin turns, no problem. Back at cruising speed, I can't tell the difference. The rubber tire industry, as it's functioned for a century, will come to a stop. It's replacement ready to roll. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, Boulder City, Nevada.